Okay, here we are in section 4.1. We're going to go through questions 27 through 35. So starting with 27, 28, we're actually going to be converting from um, scientific notation to notation. The best way that I found to do this, starting with number 27, we're going to do 5.3. So we start out with the decimal, and then we're going to look at the exponent um, and look if it's positive or negative. So since this is positive 9, we're going to move the decimal place over nine spots to the right because it's positive. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and now the decimal is over here on the right. So wherever these blank spots are, I'm just going to put a zero there to sign um, as a placeholder. And then that is your final answer. Easy, super easy as long as you don't get um, lost in all the zeros. Uh, going on to 28, we're again going to start with the decimal, which is 3.14. And then we are going to look at the exponent, which this time is a negative, it's a negative 11. So we're gonna to move to the left this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Uh, the decimal is now over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten zeros. Um, and then that is your final answer there. Just don't get lost in all the zeros. <laughs> okay, going on to the next one, we are now gonna take uh, the decimal notation and turn it into scientific notation. Um, so starting with this first one, we're taking this decimal. If we go to the left, six, that's gonna give us a two times 10. And then we went over six, so we're gonna make it six. So whenever we're changing from decimal, small to scientific, we have to think about um, what this, what the exponent is going to be, whether it's going to be positive or negative. In this case, it's going to be positive because if we want to go from two to two million, we have to move it to the right six places. Um, and this applies to uh, 30 as well. When we go over five places here, we have 8.2 times 10 to the negative five because it was a decimal to start out with to get from 8.2 to um, 0 0.00082, we have to move to the left five. Um, thinking about this way makes it a little bit less confusing. Um, going down here to multiplying out the decimals, we are going to um, take 4.2 and multiply it by 1.8 first. So that gives us a 7.56. And then we're going to take uh, that these tens, since they have the, the same basis, we're gonna um, use the same rules that we used up above, where we are going to, since we're multiplying them together, we are going to add the, the uh, exponents together. So it's 12 plus negative four, which is just gonna make that a minus. So we have 12 minus four, which is going to give us an eight. Okay, and then there's the final answer for that one. Coming over here, we're going to multiply these two out, which gives us a 22.046 times, and then 10, remember we're gonna do the same thing that we did this last one, where we do negative uh, eight plus negative five, which is gonna make that just a minus sign. So negative eight minus five is gonna give us a 10 to the negative 13. Um, however, this isn't our final answer um, because we still have to move this decimal place so that there's only one spot in the ones place. Um, as you can see, all these other ones, they start out with 7 point, 3 point, 4 point. Um, this is how we turn it into scientific notation. Um, they need to only have one number in, in, uh, to the left of the decimal. So we're going to move this one over to the left one. So we're going to get a 2 point. 2046. And now our exponent is also going to change. It's no longer negative 13 because it took negative 13 to get it to that um, decimal place over here. Um, but now that we moved it back one, now it only takes us 12 spots to go back. So really what we're doing is we're just making this 13 and making it into a negative 12 by adding one. Um, so now it is a negative 12 here because it only takes us 
um, 12 times moving the decimal that way. Okay, um, now going down to number 33, uh, we're going to do the same thing where we start out with the numbers first. So 8 divided by 4 is going to be 2. And then using the rules from above, when you're dividing um, bases that are the same, um, you want to minus these uh, exponents. So we're going to do 7 minus 5. It's going to give us 2. Coming over here, we have 5.7 divided by 3, which is going to give us a 1.9. And then and in the exponent, we have a negative 7 minus 4. So that's going to give us a negative 11. And that's the answer for that one. And then our last one here, we're going to do 2.7 2 divided by 9, which is going to give us 0 0.3. And then we're going to do 13 minus negative 5 for our exponents of 10. Um, of course, when we do negative negative, it's going to turn into a positive here, which will give us um, 10 to the 18th. However, remember there's no, there's nothing in the ones place. So we actually have to move this decimal over one place, um, which will just give us three. Um, since this is a positive number, um, to get to the final answer, we have to move it to the right 18 places. But now that we've already moved it over one, we're really getting rid of that. We're getting rid of one, one spot to move it over. So now it's just gonna be 10 to the 17th because we've already done our 18th move and this is going over. Okay, well, I hope that helps.